90 second movie review of the, of the notebook. Let's go. So I figure out in the first five minutes that Noah, Ryan Gosling's character, is based on Pepe Le Pew from the old, from the old uh, Looney Tunes cartoons. For you millennials, if you don't know what Pepe Le Pew is, Pepe Le Pew was a skunk whose catchphrase was, she says no, but she means yes. Kind of rapey, okay? Which is kind of how he was pursuing that chick in the beginning. Then he gets in with her and I'm like, all right. Then I find out that Sam Shepard can play the spoons? Holy fuck, that made me excited. Okay, but I wonder, did he get a special movie tutor? I mean, I don't know if anybody was on the notebook, but did, did Sam Shepard have to be taught how to use the spoons? Anyway, skip forward. He gets back with the redhead again. They go, redheaded uh, Rachel McAdams, they end up in a haunted house trying to shag. She won't shut the fuck up, okay? Just like any other chick, all right? Anna James Marsden, the army guy, all right? Not a bad bloke, okay? He proposes 55 minutes in, movie's over. If the dude made this, this movie is done, okay? You can rename the notebook, the pamphlet. It's over, okay? Then the dude from Honorage dies. I've even forgotten his name. And then fucking Sam Shepard dies. So we're not going anywhere. We can't end a movie like that. Okay. Um, then they enter another redhead. Uh, the War Widow shows up. I don't know what it is with this guy, Ryan Gosling and Fire Crutches, but he is all over that stuff in this movie. Okay. And this movie's starting to make sense because redheads are my weakness as well. Okay. They go on a date in the geese pond. I could have banged Rachel McAdams if I had a geese pond. Anybody can. The geese pond is the 100% move. That's the way. Anyway, rain shag ensues. Uh, all the while, while she's got her a ring that fucking Elon Musk and SpaceX can see from the goddamn fucking space station. Okay? Props to Noah for ignoring that, by the way. That's getting the job done. That's some A-level stuff right there. Okay? Uh, Side Red comes back and wants to hang out with Top Red. I don't understand that, but I'll tell you one thing right now. He's thinking three-way. They're thinking we're going to finally figure out what's going on around here. And I'm also figuring out, right at that point, why Ryan Gosling keeps wearing the long boxes. I think he's hung like a rogue elephant. That's why he's knocking out two redheads at once. Okay? She picks Ryan Gosling. All right? So it's a big bag of dicks to James Marsden. Okay? Pack up the glasses, straighten the chairs. The movie is over. Review is done. Dan didn't cry. I'm happy. Then I look at the timer. There's 15 minutes left. I'm like, no, something bad's gonna happen. Shit. Fast forward to 10 minutes. I'm crying like a little bitch in my car in the dark. And a Domino's pizza delivery guy knocks on my window asking for apartment seven. I roll down the window and I scream, she doesn't remember him. Now I have to order my pizza from Pizza Hut. Because Domino's think I'm a fucking lunatic. So there you go. That's my review for the notebook. Alright. Thank you very much for that. I'll try. Uh, we'll work another movie out next week. 